Uh, let's take this problem illustrating uh, formula 1 up to implicit uh, differentiation. Okay, uh, find the equation tangent and equation normal to the curve y is 2x equal to x squared at a point of intersection to n 0. Alright, now if we try to uh, visualize uh, the problem. Now considering that, or assuming that this is the curve, y is equal to 2x then minus x squared. Now there is a point, uh, as in the, let's say this is a uh, point uh, uh, 2n0, where this point will be the point of intersection between your tangent line. This is your tangent line uh, to the curve. Exactly perpendicular to tangent, meaning this is your normal line. Uh, this is the equation of uh, normal. Normal uh, line to the curve. Uh, curve uh, y is equal to 2x minus x squared. Okay, now to derive for uh, the equation tangent of normal, of course, you have to consider the equation of the curve 2x then minus x squared. Now, if you take now the derivative of y with respect to x, the derivative of that will be 2. The derivative of the next term is 2x. Okay, but uh, according to calculus, a differentiated equation dy dx is equal to slope. Okay, so the slope of that now will be 2, then minus uh, uh, 2, where this x, what we call the point of intersection there, that is uh, 2. So where n now will be uh, 2, then 2 times 2 will be minus 4, or your slope is negative uh, 2. Now in solving your tangent line, okay, using your formula in your analytic geometry, that y minus y1 is equal to slope times x minus x sub 1. Okay, where your x sub and y sub 1 will be your point of intersection between your curve, your tangent line, and your normal line. So this is y minus your y, where y is 0, minus 0. Then the equal slope that is negative 2 times x minus the value for x in your intersection that is minus 2. Okay, so this is 0, then the equal to multiply will give us negative 2x, multiply will give us positive 4, and to raise our solution through the standard equation of the line, uh, transpose that becomes 2x, okay, then bring that plus y, then be equal to 4 on this side, okay, that would be the equation of uh, tangent. And how about the equation of normal, the equation of uh, normal, mm. okay, by your formula, Then be equal to negative 1 divided by your slope, negative 2. Then multiply it by x minus your x, that is uh, negative 2. Okay, y will give us, you divide, that would be plus. So that would be still 1 up. Uh, plus and negative, negative will be plus. Okay, times x minus 2. Okay, to clear it up, uh, uh, if I multiply through algebra, that would be x minus 2 divided by 2. Come on. Through cross multiplication. That will be, the product now will give us 2, right? will be x then minus 2, okay? So arranging, that will be x transpose, that will be negative 2y, transpose this to the uh, left side, that will be positive 2. So this will be the equation of uh, the normal to the curve. Uh, next uh, problem, regarding the angle of uh, intersection between curve 1 and curve number 2. section between these two curves unless we try to analyze in our rectangular coordinate system again. Okay. Now supposing that this, this is our curve uh, 1, curve 1 representing, let's say, assuming y will be equal to x to the third then plus x then minus a. Okay, assuming that this is your curve number 2, alright, that would be equal to x. Why? Assuming y is equal to x. 
But if you grab this one, that won't be straight line, okay? Now this point here will be the point of intersection between curve 1 and curve number 2. Meaning there is a value for x and value for y. Now, as you see, uh, we have no yet that value for x and value for, uh, for y unless we try to equate the equation. Yeah, okay, equating. Equating uh, a curve 1 and a curve number 2. Now, in your curve 1 here, that would be y sex. If you turn there, that would be x. Then be equal to x to the third, then plus x, then minus 8. Now, through cancellation, this will cancel. Then that would be, if you transpose, that would be negative 8. Then be equal to x to the third. Okay, sir. All right. All right, I'm sorry. Uh, if you transpose this to the left side of the equation, that becomes positive 8. Then uh, that would be equal to uh, x to the third. Now remember that here there is an exponent to the third. So to neglect this exponent, we try to raise its member directly to the right by one third. Then by one third. So that this one third will multiply from three. All right, that would be x then be equal to x. No, eight raised to the one third.
Sir, okay. Sige. Ha? Okay, sir. Alright, uh, assuming that this is our rectangular field, divided into three equal lots. Okay. Uh, uh, so, we read that this is your uh, length here is equal to x, and we say that, let that uh, your uh, v will be equal to y. Alright. So that your uh, parameter of the rectangle, parameter of the rectangle is equal to twice length plus twice uh, w. Meaning, when we see parameter that is the uh, dimension uh, of your uh, length plus length plus width plus width, that would be parameter, isn't it? So that would be, or in other words, parameter that would be equal to uh, 800. That is even the problem. Will be your length is, uh, but your length is x, so that would be 2 times x, where length is x. Then plus, now you read here, to include the uh, defense inside the antilat, uh, okay, this is y plus y plus y plus y will give us 4 y. Alright, now from this equation, according to algebra, what we to divide both sides of the equation by 2, by 2, divided by 2, so that 800 divided by 2 will give us 400. Then b you divide, that will be x. Then you divide, it will give us uh, 2y. Now from this equation, you have to solve 4y, where 2y is equal to 400. I transpose, that will be minus x. Now solving for your y will be 400 uh, minus x divided by the magnitude that will be 2. Okay, assuming that this is our equation number 1. Next. Okay, so how about to take, okay, to take uh, the area, area of uh, the rectangle, 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 yeah? where area of rectangle is equal to length multiplied by W, length and swing. Okay, area is equal to what is your length, that would be X, multiplied by what is your width, Y, okay. Now, letting that this, this is equation number 2. Equating or substituting divided by or equation number one to your two, okay, that would be area will be equal to x times our y in equation one is 400 uh, minus x divided by two, okay. When we simplify, that would be area will be equal to multiply, that would be 400 uh, x multiply minus x squared divided by your denominator two, okay. Now here, I'm going now to take the derivative of your area with respect to x, dA divided by dx. Remember that this is a fraction. What is the derivative of fraction? Quotient. Denominator, okay, 2, times the derivative of your numerator, derivative of 400, x is 400. Derivative of uh, negative x will be negative 2x. Then, uh, denominator, derivative of numerator, minus your numerator, 400. Minus x minus x squared. The derivative of your denominator may a constant that would be equal now to zero. Okay, zero. Then divided by the square of your denominator, two x squared will give us four. Now when we multiply this by denominator of that zero is zero. Okay. Now, uh, when we simplify, differential area with respect to x will be equal to I divide here, remember, by 2, here, 2 by 2, by 2, that would be 2, okay? So the differential area will be 400 minus 2x divided by, okay, 2, okay, 2. Then, uh, simplify further, d divided by dx, alright, upon distributing, okay, distributed property, uh, 400 divided by 2 minus 2x divided by 2, but quotient is a division, dA divided by dx will be equal to 12 divided by 2 is 200. Uh, minus I divide from that, that will be minus x. Okay. Alright, now according to calculus, to maximize or to minimize the problem, to maximize or to minimize the problem, you set, set, okay, set. 
the DA divided by DX will be equal to 0. Right? So, if that is 0, then be equal to 200 minus X. So, before X, I transpose where X now will be equal now to uh, 200 uh, feet. Okay. That would be the length of the rectangle. Alright. How solving for the width of the rectangle? Alright. In your equation number 2, in equation number 2, where your equation to the rule be y then be equal to 400 minus x divided by 2, where y now will be equal to 400 minus your x, but x is 200 divided by 2. Okay. Still y will be, you subtract, that will be 200 divided by 2. Alright. So where y is, you divide, that will be 100.